Hello everybody, this is Jeff at eTrailer.com. Today we're going to take a look at this Gen Y adjustable two ball mount with the Pinto lock and the 12 inch dropper rise for a 3 inch hitch. And this has a 32,000 pound gross towing weight capacity. Now this is an adjustable ball mount that will let you hook up your trailer to your tow vehicle. The shank portion right here is what will slide into your 3 inch hitch receiver on your vehicle. And then up front you have your choice of either a 2 inch diameter ball or a 2 and 5 16 diameter ball which will provide the connection points for your trailer coupler. Now with this part, if you notice, this also includes this Pinto lock accessory. When this is paired with the larger 2 and 5 16 diameter ball, it's going to provide a nice connection point for a lunette ring coupler. And the lunette ring couplers, I just wanted to pop up an insert to show you what we're talking about. On some of the large heavy duty trailers, they'll use that lunette ring. If you notice in the picture there, it's designed to drop over the ball. But when it drops over that, you want to make sure it stays on there and doesn't come loose. You use this pintle lock accessory right here. And just to show you how you would do that, is you'll just take out your clip and your pin, slide this back out of the way, and then you'll make your connection with your lunette ring over the ball. Once it's in place, then you'll slide this over the lunette ring, and then take your pin. Once you get it lined up, put the clip in there, and that locks it into place, and you can see it's locked there and keeps the ring from coming up over the ball. So that's a nice, if you're not going to use it for a lunette ring, you can actually just also store it away. It gives you a second hole that you can slide this back, put your pin and clip through there. Go ahead and insert, and now you can see it's out of the way, and you can use it for a regular coupler. <clears throat> now the capacity on this will be determined by the ball size that you use. So if you use this larger 2 and 5 16 diameter ball, gross towing weight capacity is going to be 32,000 pounds, maximum tongue weight of 3,500 pounds. If you use the, if you flip this around and use the 2 inch diameter ball, gross towing weight on that is 16,000 pounds, maximum tongue weight of 1,500 pounds. If you notice, this has five stacked two and a half inch size receivers. These will accept the included ball mount and pinto lock like we showed you, as well as other hitch mounted accessories. It does come with the two three quarter inch diameter stainless steel pins and clips, and those are included to secure the ball mount to the shank, the pinto lock to the shank. And what's nice about these, I really like these clips on these. If you notice when I use them, they're very easy to remove or install. They're called a twist design. It's a really nice design. Instead of the straight clips, which sometimes are a pain to try to install, this has a little twist clip on it. And the way you get it off is just by twisting it, just like that. Comes right off. Slide your clip out or pin out. And then when you go to install it, just push it. And as you push it, it'll twist and clip right into place. Very easy to take off or install. <clears throat> now this does give you an adjustable height. This will let you tow trailers of different heights with the same vehicle. Works well if you have a lifted truck. Basically this ball mount can be lowered or raised to match your application. Now if you do use this in the lowest position right here, that's the maximum drop. It's going to be 12 inch drop. If you do flip the shank over into the rise position and then use this in the highest position, it'll get you a maximum rise of 12 inches. And just to show you how the ball can be <clears throat> slide the pinning clip out for the ball mount and you can see that slides right out and I'm going to turn it over to use the two inch and I'm just going to slide it back in the same place but as I mentioned you can put it in what height you need <coughs> once we slide it in far enough and we get the hole to line up There we go. Slide our pin all the way through. Take our clip. Again, it's just twist on. <clears throat> and just like that, now you're ready to go with the two inch. So pretty easy to choose what ball size and what height to use. This is a, a heavy duty steel construction. They do use a zinc primer and a black powder coat on the two ball mount and the pinto lock. The shank is a primer with a durable silver vein epoxy powder coat on the shank to resist corrosion. Now when you do install this into your hitch receiver, it will require a hitch pin and clip or a hitch lock to secure it to the hitch receiver. Those are not included. We do sell those separately on our website. And they do give you two different size pin holes. You can either use the three quarter inch size or the smaller five eighths inch diameter. <clears throat> this part is SAE J684 certified. It is made in the USA. Application again, it fits three inch by three inch trailer hitch receivers. And one last note I do want to mention. 
because this ball mount has many different dimensions to it, I do recommend for you to go to the product page of this part number to verify any dimension that may be needed for your application. We do list it on the product page. But that should do it for the review on the Gen Y adjustable two ball mount with the Pinto Lock, the 12 inch drop and rise for a three inch hitch.